what happened to my surge protector after a lightning strike. This was obviously set up for a surge protector, but it's also been modified. Of course, I had to modify it to make it better. It actually worked. It got hit by lightning last night. Let's go in and find out what happened. Okay, first things first. Got to figure out which leg is bad. We have a dead short there to ground and not wide open there. Okay, in between them, it's not a problem. There is some small current going through there, but that's normal with the way the circuit is. Anyway, it's in the kilo ohms. Now we got to figure out which one, which leg it is. So, hook one to ground. There it is. So, it's probably one of these diodes. Because it's not here. So, it has to be one of these going to ground. So, that's our hot lead on the outlet. And these are all in parallel going across there. Now, they did what they were supposed to do. Short out. This actually went and dead shorted. It did not kick this breaker out, but it kicked the breaker out for the wall. Now this ran my UPS backup for the television, the modem, computer, all that stuff. Okay, which was all plugged in when the lightning hit. The lightning made a voltage spike. This dead shorted before anything else happened. Clamped the voltage and ran the breaker and popped it. So this did exactly what it's supposed to do. I'll find the bad component in here. I pop each one loose till I find it. It's probably only one. Might be two. But uh, that took the brunt of the problem. It doesn't show up here because the breaker kicked out faster than it could cook. So it did its job. Everything's safe. The modem works. The computer works. The UPS works. So nothing, uh, nothing got hurt because I put these in there. None of the other components did anything. This went first and took everything to ground and killed the voltage spike. So. These are nice diodes. I like them. They did their job. Did their job well. I'm going to find out which one it was that was bad. Okay. We're down to the end. Got them all unsoldered. Let's take a look. And, uh, nothing, 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 nothing. And there it is last one physically it's not burnt it's not smoked so it's difficult to tell just by looking at it on this one a lot of them fry and they're noticeable but this one is not so I'll take that out replace it put them all back in and put this whole unit back in service because it did its job and it stopped the lightning strike from tearing up my computer my television my UPS backup, modem, all of that, and a couple extra items that was on it too. Um, but uh, it did its job. I'm happy. It works. That's what you got to do to protect your equipment. Take what you got and beef it up, make it better than what the manufacturer does. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Put a new one in. Let's see if we can get you in focus here. So 1.5K. Sorry, I'm not good at this. 1.5K 180CA. So that's an AC 
it's 180 volt and 1.5 kiloamps I believe kiloamps kilowatts I don't know I don't remember kiloamps I think so anyway I'm gonna put this last one in and put the thing back in service and I'll be protected again from the next lightning strike okay back together final test ground to a leg nothing ground to the other leg nothing ground to ground okay go across leg to leg and nothing except a small bit from capacitance in that original circuit that's back in there the capacitance will allow a very very tiny current to flow through and this meter picks it up so there you go ready to go back into service and protect my equipment total time I don't know 45 minutes good luck on your project